Hi everyone, and welcome to Asking Astronomer. Uh, finally got some time to use the video content, so what I thought I'd do is give you a quick rundown of what to expect from the site in the coming weeks and months. The first project we have is a video based on a talk I've given a few times on the Big Bang and the origins of the universe. So that's really how did our universe begin, how did it get to where we are today, and also a little bit about where we expect our universe to go in the future. Do we expect our universe to end, and if we do expect it to end, how do we expect it to end? That's probably about a week or two away now, it's, it's in production, it's nearly ready. Uh, but as soon as it is, I'll upload it to the new YouTube channel, and I'll also stick it on the website as well. But the second project uh, we have coming, uh, which is one I'm quite excited about, is... Based on two questions I get asked a lot, and that's, what does an astronomer do? And what does a PhD student do? So what do we spend 8, 10, 12 hours a day uh, our desks doing? Uh, do we still observe in the old-fashioned way of looking through uh, an eyepiece of a telescope, or is there new ways of doing things? So, And how does that tie in to being a PhD student? Because most people don't really have direct contact with astronomers or, or PhD students in general. So... Instead of writing an article about it, because there's, there's plenty of articles about it, I thought I'd give you a real-life diary of my PhD. I'm coming up to the halfway point now, which is where things get really interesting. That's when we get some real science out. That's when we get some results. And we'll also be away a lot, uh, learning new skills, uh, things like workshops. I have a workshop coming up at the Very Large Array uh, over in New Mexico. Uh, for those who don't know, that's a giant array of radio telescopes. I hope they'll give some updates on there, what I've been up to. Uh, maybe get some pictures of the telescopes as well. Hopefully we're going to make a trip out there. And also, we go to a lot of conferences because we want to present these results we're getting. We want to share the research. That's the point of doing it. There's no point in doing research and then keeping it all to yourself. We want to further knowledge. So, for example, I have the National Astronomic, Astronomical Week coming up in the end of March, I believe. Uh, Manchester University, so I hope you give you some updates from there. But in astronomy, you get really, really busy patches where everything's jam-packed and you haven't got a second, and you also get some quiet patches where you're waiting for other people, you may be waiting for some data. Uh, so in those patches, what I'd quite like to do, along with giving you uh, an overview of my research, because I'd like to share what I do with you, what I'm interested in. But I'd also like to get some questions from you. What What would you like to hear from me? What do, what do you want to know about being an astronomer? What do you want to know about being a PhD student? Maybe you want to be a PhD student. Maybe that's part of your career path. Maybe you want to be an astronomer. Uh, so what do you want to know? Um, maybe you just have a general interest in what a PhD involved or what becoming an astronomer involves. So we're really keen to for, for you guys to tell us what you want to hear. And there's plenty of ways to get in contact. There's obviously the website. Uh, it's a bit the normal form for these videos. That's fine. Uh, we also got Facebook. So facebook.com slash ask an astronomer. Uh, you can submit on there, right on the wall. Uh, we also have this new YouTube channel. You can either post in the comments or put a video reply. Always great to see video replies, see who we're talking to. Uh, and also we have a Twitter account. So that's at, at Ask Astro UK. Unfortunately, I missed the Ask Astronomer on that one. And Ask Astronomer UK is just too long. Damn you, Twitter. So come and tell us what you want to hear, uh, what you want to get from the diary. And hopefully we'll hear from you soon.